Hello, sports fans. It's me, Sportsman Z, Bob Zolke. <clears throat> and we got news today <clears throat> that Tom Brady will not be on the Patriots next year. You like that? You like that? So anyway, speculation is that Brady, um, well, I'm, he is definitely not going to be on the Patriots. And speculation is that maybe he's going to Tampa. A few other teams have been thrown around that I've seen. San Diego, the Raiders. Um, but the, uh, the implications of this are, uh, well, they're far-reaching. First of all, the Bills are an up-and-coming team in the AFC. And now, Maybe the Bills can win that division. And we're going to find out three very important things next year because of this. The first thing is, can Tom Brady be as successful as he's been without Belichick? The second thing is, can Belichick be as successful as he's been without Tom Brady? And the third and maybe most important thing is, will I get my Patriots picks as correct as I have been getting them without the two of them on the Patriots together? So let's look at that first thing. Can Brady be as successful as he's been without Belichick? I think the answer to, well, the answer to that is, is kind of... Um, it's kind of deceptive. Normally, I would say yes, he can. In fact, um, I would say that, that certainly he could be because he's the guy with the talent. He's the guy throwing the passes. He's the guy calling the plays. Now, Belichick, of course, probably has a hand in the play calling and the play development. But Brady's the guy that has to execute the plan on the field. Not only that, but if Brady goes to another team, he can take Belichick's system with him. And he can, you know, he can work with the coach and the coaching staff and the offensive coordinator to put in the game plan that has made Brady successful. But now let's look at the other side of that coin. Can Belichick do that without Brady? And I think that's going to be a lot tougher. Because I've, I've heard the opinion out there that the success of the Patriots is prim has primarily been due to Belichick. And that Belichick would be more successful without Brady than Brady would without Belichick, but I don't think that that's really correct. I think that it's going to be harder on Belichick because he can institute that system he's got, but he's got to have a quarterback that can execute that system. And, um, I mean... Brady's one of the best at doing it. Now, the only caveat I've got to Brady being more successful without Belichick than Belichick without Brady is that Brady's getting older. He's getting older. His uh, skills are invariably going to deteriorate. And so that's going to make it tougher. That's definitely going to make it tougher. Um, and you saw a little of it last year with the Patriots. So um, you saw a lot of frustration last year. He was, um, you know, he expected receivers to be where they weren't. And, um, you know, whose fault really was that? Is it just the fact he's getting older and he's just not quite as good as he was? I think you have to expect that that's going to happen to some degree. So I, you have to factor that in. I mean, really, I don't like this move by Brady. I don't. And I don't like it by quarterbacks like him, uh, like Peyton Manning and like um, uh, 
Joe Namath, who have been with one team for this long period of time in their careers, and then right at the end of their career for like two years, they're with another team. Why? Just finish your career with that team. If he didn't want to play for the Patriots anymore, he should have just said, listen, I'm done. I'm going to go down in history as one of the best quarterbacks in the history of the NFL, and it's all going to be as a Patriot. But no, apparently now maybe it's going to be as a Buccaneer or a San Diego Charger or a Raider. Who knows? But, it, I mean, that just, you know, it just it looks bad. It's a bad optic, just like Peyton Manning becoming a Bronco and uh, Broadway Joe becoming an L.A. Ram. It just didn't make sense. So I think that that was, uh, from that standpoint, that was probably a bad move. Um, if he ends up signing with somebody else, like going to Tampa Bay. I mean, everybody's going to remember him as a New England Patriot. No one's going to remember him as a Tampa Bay Buccaneer. And he's not going to be nearly as good for the Tampa Bay Buccaneers as he was for the Patriots. Just ask Brett Favre how he did with the Jets and the Vikings as compared to the Green Bay Packers. Ask Broadway Joe how he did with the Rams as compared to the Jets. Ask Peyton Manning how he did with the Broncos. All right, let's not go there because he actually did do pretty well with the uh, Broncos. But you get my point. So anyway, um, what do you guys think of this move by Brady? Um, is it is it good leaving the Patriots? Um, I mean, it is for everybody who doesn't like the Patriots. But, um, <laughs> but um, you know, what, what, what does everybody think about it? I mean, I'm not a Patriots fan. I was like 30 years ago, but I'm not now. Um, and, um, you know, I don't, I mean... Other than the bad optic of him spending like two years as a Buccaneer or something, I, uh, you know, I don't really care one way or the other. Uh, but I'd be interested to hear what everyone else thinks. And uh, Sportsman Z, talk to you later.